I was like, Evan, Evan's the only guy I told my breath, I had the balls to tell him my breath smelled like shit. I talked to so many of you face to face tonight, and none of you could just go, Kenny, you sound like you've been sucking shit dicks all fucking night. Thanks, Evan. You're the man. Do you like the smell of shit? That's pretty cool. That's, you're into that, like, African shit. You just sit and wallow in your own filth all day. Pretty much. Well, yeah. you, you play the part. Might as well do it. I did mention that this is a hometown... Hometown? Hometown. It is a hotel. It's a hometown show for me. That's cool. Uh, listen, guys, I promise these guys a really excellent pit bull fight. So whoever wants to pony up, let's fucking do this. Welcome to Mastic, guys. This is pretty much everything. This bar is pretty much the embodiment of it. You know you have a problem in your hometown when instead of just being like, oh, hey, maybe I'll talk to my kid, see what's going on in his life. No, we'll just let the high school put a heroin center in. They'll take care of it. There's no need to understand my child. That's what school's for. I was at the laundromat before. And uh, these are the things in Mastic that people are okay with talking about. I was in the laundromat before, and all of a sudden I just hear, Take one! <laughs> Take one! What is this blind hair doing on our, on our blanket? <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, I think that's Jamal's pit bull's hairs. <laughs> This looks curly like pubic hair, Taekwon. <laughs> you know I went through my short blonde dyed hair phase in 93. <laughs> this is the best part about having a hometown crowd. Nobody <laughs> laughed at the funny guys before me. <laughs> so the comics laughed at them. And now the comics are like, this guy's got the hometown crowd. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they don't understand it's all true though. Yeah, right. They don't understand it. <laughs> no, I, I, wanna, I love this town. I love everybody here, but I gotta get the fuck out of it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm actually taking the Minnesota State Trooper exam next week. <laughs> you need three things to be a Minnesota State Trooper. One, you need to have a great beard. Which I think I got. I think I got a great beard. Two, you need to be able to run a mile in 15 minutes, which I haven't actually tried to run a mile in 15 minutes in a while, but if there's any females here who want to test my stamina later on, that's what's up. And you need a really good Minnesota accent. I'm going to give it a shot for you guys. Oh, no, Bob, you can't park there, Bob. No, you can't park there. It's not bothering me, Bob, it's just the law. I'll catch you down at Diane's for a hot cup of joe later. <laughs> good? It's good? It's good? I've been watching Fargo a lot lately. It's awesome. i got to do something, though, man, because I, everybody's, like, doing things with their lives, you know what I'm saying? Like, they've graduated from college, and they're, they're like, oh, we just put a down payment down on a house. I'm like, oh, I just put a down payment down on Dead Space 3 for Xbox. <laughs> Fifty more, five more dollars, and that motherfucker's mine. <laughs> everybody's getting married and shit. I go out on with couple dinners, and they all, everybody's there with a couple, and I'm just at the bar like, let's do shots, and like it's a Wednesday, we have to be up at six o'clock in the morning. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Grow the fuck up already. They're all like having interesting adult conversations about like politics. They're like, oh, gun control is a real issue in this country. Something needs to be done about it. Well, you know, it's our Second Amendment right. Kenny, what do you think? Food turns to poop. <laughs> That's all I got to offer. I got to do something, man, because you got to get out of this town. You got to get out of this town, everybody. Get out. Go south. Go north. Go west. Get the fuck off of Long Island. Sandy didn't do enough work, if you ask me. <laughs> Tough. Tough. Everybody's having kids, man. What the fuck? Everybody's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're due in a couple of months. We're due this time, this time, that time. If kids are anything like me, man, I don't fucking want them. <laughs> <laughs> I drank a lot of Surge going through puberty, and I used to do this thing where I squeeze the head of my dick when I come, so... 
probably have a narrow urethra. <laughs> they don't actually make surge anymore, but I still do the thing where I squeeze the head of my dick when I come, so I more than likely have a narrow urethra. Kids are going to be a horrible double standard too, man. My wife's going to hate it. My son has a girl over. Oh, you want to go in your room? You want to study? Absolutely. What are you trying to study? Mountains? All right, well, if you study anything like your old man, lock the door behind you. Text me if you need condoms. I'll slide them underneath. My daughter has a male friend over. You want to go in your room? Absolutely. I don't want to see that awkward shit on my couch. You're trying to watch The Notebook. I'm trying to watch Sports Center. You're going in there and you're leaving the door open and there's absolutely no way my daughter is, is, is coming over with a male friend. You're going to have to give me one week advance notice. And that night for dinner, my wife and I prepare the hottest Mexican chili known to man. I'm going to wash it down with two tall glasses of milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Right in this area here, I'm going to create the biggest shit storm known to man. When I'm not having my eyes directly on you, I'm going to be 15 feet in either direction, either on the couch hearing some bullshit about the Jets, or in the bathroom spewing hot, unhealthy, molten diarrhea lava shit out of my ass. <laughs> so think of that way, trying to slip a couple past my daughter's cotton panties. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's going to work either, because I would just see her dad run past me into the bathroom, and I would kind of like time it in between his shits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, what's up, Mr. Robinson? Oh, yeah, no, we're just hanging out doing geometry. I'm really good at math. I really gotta get good at doing riffs, too. <laughs> Let me put a perspective for you. If I come home and my son's on top of a cheerleader, I'm gonna be like, whoa, no! Don't let me stop you. You two look like you were having a great time. Listen, I'm gonna be in the kitchen whipping you up some lemon squares and tang. Put a pillow under their back. They like that when they're young. <laughs> if I come home and my daughter's getting railed out by the quarterback of the football team, I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> I'm going to start knocking shit off the walls, ripping my clothes. I'm going to go to him and be like, shh, calm down, honey. Daddy was just trying to save you from the big bad boy, right? Right? Want that new cell phone? Daddy can't pay a cell phone bill from jail, sweetie. This would have been a sexual assault. Let's mark up that face a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't let it get that far. I, don't even, I can't even find a girl that I want to fucking stay with. I gotta find a girl that I'm gonna marry? Are you out of your fucking mind, man? I'm really, really into just practicing making kids. Like, I'm really, really into fucking. Let's give it up for fucking, everybody. Nice round of applause for fucking. Oh, that's where my play is at. <laughs> I found you. But uh, so I, I really like loud sex. I don't know about you guys. I don't necessarily like to be loud. I like my female to be loud. Let me know I'm doing a good job. But somehow I only run into these quiet chicks. They want to have like whisper sex. They're like, oh, oh yes, take, take that pussy. I'm just like, come on, man. I'm not in the gym and I'm not on my LL, but I'm doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Like, let them know about it. I knew my cousin Tony wasn't going to like that joke because it was about rap. He caught me in his room once when I was 13, not doing what you think I was doing. I was watching UNITY by Queen Latifah, and he bugged the fuck out. He told my mom... She was okay with it. But yeah, man, you know, I, I just like my, I like the, the freaks, man. That's why you gotta date a white trash chick. Coming from Mastic, man, we know all about white trash chicks. White trash chicks don't give a fuck. White trash chicks will fuck you on the couch, under a blanket, during family time, at your family's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tough having your family here. They know about everything you came on while watching their house. That's tough. Don't laugh, Joyce. Don't you dare laugh. I watched your house, too. I see them white But yeah, man. They'll just be like, Oh, what? Miss Murdoch, we're just sitting. We're just sitting. 
I gotta let her know if I get her two times, she owes me one. <laughs> no, man, I gotta get a white trash chick, man. Don't sleep on him. Sleep with him, don't sleep on him. <laughs> there's never any food in their house, so there's absolutely no caloric intake. <laughs> They're constantly running away from home, so they're in terrific shape. <laughs> they just got their 17-track uh, MP3 player from 1998. <laughs> just like, run away, run away from the pain, yeah, yeah. The pain, of course, being the fact that her mother's a meth addict and her dad drinks entirely too much. <laughs> but I digress. It's like, fuck that, I don't digress. I tried to save a white trash chick that I worked with one time. I did her real proper, too. Took her out on dates, left her little love notes under the windshield wiper, brought her a favorite flower <coughs> randomly. Finally, one day after work, I muster up the guts to kiss her. So I go in, and at first she accepts it, verifying there's been a mutual attraction. She's all like... <sighs> but then she realizes that if she gives in at that point in the game, that she'll be behind, so she's all like... No! You're just too nice. Pause. Why is it when you're nice to a chick, you stand absolutely no chance with her? Until she's like 32 and she's already had a kid by the other, the other asshole. And she's like, oh, it's been in front of me the whole time. She's really fucking hot, so you just wind up raising a little snatch monster. Just kind of hope he's really young, you can mold him into a good kid. <laughs> Past five, I don't know, I don't think he can. After that, it's a crap shoot. No, oh, you're just you're too nice. Too nice. I could, like, I could yell at you, I could call you trash, I could slap you, I don't... Too nice. And then she springs this on me, she tells me she has a boyfriend. I meet him one night, it's two black dudes and a white guy. <laughs> I have absolutely no problem with interracial relationships. That's just a lot of dick to take at one time. That's three dicks. Two of them are black. I'm worried about her orifices here, people. <laughs> Not to mention, I have absolutely no idea where I fit into this equation. Symmetry, maybe? <laughs> I'm the low man on the totem pole. I gotta work my way up from the down from a hand job to the pussy hole. <laughs> not to mention, a gangbang is the only time in life where getting jerked off is just not okay. <laughs> Somebody's in every hole of her body and you're just standing there like... <sighs> really bored. <laughs> Should've brought a Sudoku. <laughs> Can I go first? It's getting really messy down there. It's only gonna take a minute. I don't even want the ass poop comes out of there. I was gonna go out on that, but since I have ample amounts of time, I usually use this time to tell everybody about the first time I ever had ass sex. I don't really like ass sex. <laughs> As I stated earlier, poop comes out of there. Now, I was 16 at the time, and I know what you're thinking to yourself. What kind of 16-year-old guy wants to fuck a chick in the ass? But she wanted me to fuck her in the ass. And I'm all about pleasing a chick, so I was like, whatever, let's get it in. I'm really young, so I use spit as lube. That was a really fucking horrible idea. I could, I could muster up enough spit into my palm to lube my dick into your anus. Definitely. It's not really rough, tough tissue or anything like that. So I finally get in there after some tough, tough, tough times. It's kind of like she was getting into a hot tub. She was like, hot tub. <laughs> so I'm going at it. I'm like 27 pumps in. I'm counting because it's a momentous occasion. <laughs> and all of a sudden I hear... Now I've heard the body do a lot of things during sex. Not one of them. 
So I check on her. I'm thinking maybe she's groaning or something. I look around, and at first it was the hot tub, and now she kind of looks like she's just looking at the sun, sucking on a lemon. She's like... <sighs> so she's good. She's good. She's, she's enjoying it. So I just go back to doing what I got to do, and then I hear it again. <laughs> now I go to inquire about this, and before I get a chance to, I hear... <clears throat> now mind you, I'm still in her asshole. <laughs> So unless she's being rude and making fart noises during my first ass sex experience, 